Until the 1800s, false teeth were made of animal bone, ivory, or actual human teeth. These often came from the poor, or even from dead bodies. Thankfully, today's dentures are made from ceramics. It all starts by heating a sheet of wax over a flame, which is pressed onto a rough plaster model of the patient's mouth. The lab technicians use this model to prepare what's called an impression tray, which will be used to make a rubber mould to cast the dentures. An acrylic material is applied over the wax lining, forming a handle so it can be removed afterwards. Once the acrylic hardens, the wax is discarded. The dentist then fills this new acrylic tray with rubber to take a final impression. The lab uses the hardened rubber as a negative mould of the patient's mouth. The mould is filled with plaster to make a new, more precise model. The new model is used to make the part of the dentures that fits on top of the patient's gums. A special orthodontic acrylic is pressed into the model to form what's called the base plate. Then a sheet of wax is heated to form the rim of the base. This new acrylic and wax model now goes back for another fitting in the patient's mouth. The dentist takes a series of measurements to show the lab exactly where to place the teeth. The technicians then select the teeth that will best suit the size of the patient's mouth. teeth are installed one by one into the model's wax rim, which is then sent back to the dentist for final fitting. The dentist checks that everything is centred and that the patient's bite is properly aligned. If the model fits well and looks good, the lab can finally begin to manufacture the dentures. The model is positioned in a special holder, called a flask, where channels are attached through which acrylic will later be injected. This acrylic will replace the wax holding the teeth in place. But first, to get rid of the wax, a plaster mould is cast which will hold the teeth in place. Once the plaster dries, it's submerged in hot water for five minutes to melt the wax inside. The plaster mould is rinsed with warm water to remove any wax residues. Then they apply what's called a separator, a chemical that will keep the acrylic from sticking to the plaster mould. A cylinder of acrylic is positioned over the flask and using an air pressure piston, the acrylic is forced into the plaster mould. The mould is submerged in boiling water for 35 minutes to harden the acrylic. Once the flask has cooled down, they break the plaster. The false teeth are now securely rooted in acrylic gums. An ultrasonic bath rids the dentures of any remaining plaster. The acrylic is then refined with pumice and shined with a polishing compound. The set of false teeth is finally ready. When a patient doesn't need a full set of dentures, they receive what's called a partial, made much the same way they're hooked on at either end of the patient's natural teeth. <laughs>